Okay, our truce is over with these guys. Mission of worship. No, no, thank you. I'll skip. I'll, I'll, I'll skip that. Let's lower taxes and keep our tariffs high. How's that? God, these... Nation. Always losing infantry. Go here. What are you up to now, Illyria? What do you want? Always up to no good, it's Illyria. Ugh. Ugh. Man, the Russians are getting their teeth kicked in. You could have called me in again, Russia, but oh well. Illyrian liberation of Dalmatia. Yeah, they have cores there. They also have cores here, but I don't want them to take that. I want I would like the Austrians to keep that. That'll be good. You only allied with Ferrara. Sure. Sure, I'll help you out. I'll put you here for now, and I'll consider my moves once they arrive. How are we, by the way, on our stockpile and our needs here? I might consider expanding my stockpile now that my army is significantly bigger. a little bit just so we don't end up with you know stuff building forever just stuck in a queue for a million years all right I was gonna declare war on you your shit Are we, as far as our neighbors, 17? We're a little bit ahead, then that's good. Electricity is really good. Let's get a quick tech for a reinforcement experience. Thank God there's no uh, Venice isn't an island here. I don't have to worry about that. Homo erectus discovered. Very good. your tech like by the way 11 wow it's really bad who cares cover the losses uh, oh god the pop-ups you're done we're just at war with Kano, right? Yep. We can declare war on Khan and Bornu next, and nobody likes them, so no one's gonna come to help them. That'd be nice. We're gonna have the. I don't want to touch the mossy. I don't want to stir the pot with the uh, the United Republic. Not for now. If I had a 
decent enough na granted they're wow they actually did manage to annex england if i had a decent enough navy the problem is is that their navy isn't that great compared to mine they're they're par pair on they're on par but i don't have any capital ships all i have are transports and uh uh commerce raiders I might want to change that soon now that I'm getting more and more ports. Yes, give me, give me that. Well, the Burgundians and the United Republic men duke it out in. What's this? Giaman? Giaman? Check in on uh, Italy. Very good. Another African nation to add. Oh, the Egyptians are civilized. Okay. Very good. Not good, just interesting, I guess. We have a truce with Cuba, so we can't annex them yet. That's over 1883. We can eat you. Oh. Is this area or new? I don't want to give you access so you can slap my ally. How are they doing? <laughs> the Scandinavian liberation of Karelia has gotten to the point where Scandinavia is not even part of the war and the liberation of Karelia isn't even part of the objective. <laughs> uh, yeah, looking good. <clears throat> Great war you got there. I'm kind of glad that I felt bad because I didn't join that war, but now I don't feel so bad. I feel bad that you have rebels that you're not dealing with. I'll take care of that. Porno and Marua. Who knew that a Who knew that a nation with no ports would make it this far? Live in the dream. Typical Vicky too. Yeah. Yeah. Without 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 war with the Russians, that is just just typical. There's. I'm guessing that the Burgundians that landed up here in Archangel got obliterated. And they're, they're still at it. They still have ships up here. Now that's dedication. Next thing you know, you're going to see Burgundians sail halfway across the world to land over here in Nivk. That just make a landing here. This is just... Korea, can you do us all a favor and just eat the Qing Empire? This is, this is just not right. I mean, come on, look at this. This is not right. Put it out of its misery. Either you or the Taiping Heavenly Kingdom. One of you. Thick Korea. Yes. It's very thick. They lost the war. Or rather, they won the war against Japan early on. I don't know how that happened. And they've just been destroying the, this area here. Okay, back to here. 
Gotta deal with these Venetians. Adwa, let's move on to Ferrara. They got a hold of the war goal, I think. Just, uh, it's just Croatia, Dalmatia, I think. It's Venice. Oh, right, we're the attackers. That's why we're on this side. Uh, right, Dalmatia is the only goal. Uh, no, let me stay here. If I stay in Fume, it'll allow me to protect this area here. Unless they try to go around for Austria. Can I go... Okay, yeah, they can go through here. Uh, maybe just stay in, stand, in Singe. Still won't accept it, huh? Baria, yes. Parma? I don't... I don't care about the Italian states, really, as far as allies go. 2-6. More infantry. Uh... Still trying to get... I also really hate how Switzerland is still a great power. Stop this. You're number six! <laughs> oh, uh, these nations have to stop losing uh, prestige. This is what's happening here. Oh my god. This, what the f... What the f... Why are you not moving in, Russia? I guess they're just in a stalemate. Well, at least I, I gave them enough access so they can move around and do their thing. Check real quick on my soldier pops. 0.3. Yeah, that's not... I wanted to keep them at least at like a 2.5 here. And then I'll forget all about it and I'll... Next thing you know, half of the state will be soldiers and... Why are... Oh, right. They revolted. <sighs> okay, I occupied I occupied your two capitals. Are you ready to play ball now? Yes, you are. Okay. Stop moaning. Give not Yugoslavia your land. Thank you very much. Talk to you later. Good job. You really did it. As we watch as Russia just... <laughs> what is this? Checkpoint Charlie? You're about a hundred... You're about like, I don't know, fucking 70 years too early for this. This is insane. Madness. Well, I have a lot of money. I can start building more forts. Yeah, let's just go for all of all of all of that. I'll burn my money. I need to save up money later so I can get more forts. Maybe I'll start on screw propelled steamers next. How are we in our Cold War with Burgundy? 17 and 18. And then 321 brigades. Holy shit. Man, they're <laughs> 17 million versus... They have more pop than uh, than that. Granted, they have colonies, which inflates their... Uh, uh, their numbers. Upgrade all button. Yeah. That would be nice. I mean, there's a way to, to just uh, upgrade all forts if you press control click. But I don't like to do that sometimes, because early, or especially early game, I don't have enough money, nor do I want to fortify everything. Usually just to put my borders, so I can keep the uh, invaders a little bit busy. Okay, what next? Uh... Yeah, 
Yeah, let's go military logistics. I want to keep ahead of my, uh... Why here? <laughs> Spread out your troops, Russia. Put them in Emden or something. I don't know. Christ. You're really... You're pulling my nipple the wrong way. Give me all your land. Done yet? No. We have truces with all these guys. Powers of the monarchy. Uh, his descent is unhealthy. I let them talk. What's our status on... Oh, wow. The militant socialists are actually quiet. The Jacobins, however... <laughs> the Jacobins, however... Minimum wage. Yeah, quit crying about it. What if, what if I give the rich a little bit of, a little bit of a tax cut? How's that? They can maybe pay you more money, I guess. Or spend more on, I don't know, bundles of coal or whatever the hell they're buying. Joint stock. Yeah, nice. I can always use a little bit of more extra tax efficiency. Okay, we're okay with our troops. Troop count here. 3.6. <laughs> yeah, that's from the time I forgot to check on my pop focus. 1.2. That's terrible. Wow, you need some more craftsmen here in Pomeran. You really do. We have the we have, we have way more literacy than we need for them to promote properly. So yeah, let's do it. The half Sid Kingdom. Now, why would I do that? What do you think of the Hyper Vic 3? Uh, I think it's been mostly... I think... Early on, I think it was mostly memes because of the whole, you know, uh... The whole, you know, Vicky 3 confirmed! And it was like... That, you know, 100 million gallons worth of memes just flowing on the internet. Um, I'm keeping my, I'm keeping my hype very, uh, cool, I guess is the word. Uh, I think they will make it good. I hope so. I hope that Paradox learned their lesson after, uh, oh dear, after the Imperator release. No, that was a, that was a pile of shit. Never was a release like that. My god. I think I only played that game on... I heard it got better, but I only played it on early on release, and my that was not. I didn't like it very much. Cautiously optimistic. Yeah, me too. Me too. Got a refund on Imperator. <laughs> I don't blame you. That was very disappointing, and seeing like what the uh, uh, what that other the other team that got on with U four did with them. Um, with the latest DLC. Now that really... Ugh. That was, that was shit. That was not right. Just break the game like that. I haven't even played U4 ever since the release, but... Man, I don't know. Yeah, after especially after that, uh, 1, 2, 3, Pan Pan, it's just, I've been cautiously optimistic, much like you. It's just, I have my hopes. I've seen the de I've seen the dev uh, the dev diaries. They look good. Doesn't look like they have you know everything is mana. Let me let me press my ma my industry button. I mean, you know, let me press my liquor button and spam five million liquor factories that'll instantly grant grant my pops so that they're sloshed forever and really happy. So it, lo it looks like they're trying to keep it on the spirit of the game, which makes me happy. Of the of Vicky too. We'll see when it comes out, though. I'll definitely be playing it on. Uh, as much as I hate being, uh, you know, <laughs> sounding like a stupid, cons stupid uh, consumer idiot who's just gonna buy it on day one, that is one of the games that I might buy on day one just to check it out. Your favorite game? Yeah, same here. I take breaks from Vicky too. 
all the time just to play other things, which I might start playing on the channel, which I'll probably start playing on the channel as well just to get variety. But Vicky 2 is definitely one of my perennial favorites. Alliance Armor from Tyrol. Uh, sure, why not? Okay, we're gonna... I want to get all the infantry because they, they've been getting rebels all the time. I've been losing my infantry. I like it. Hey, a safari. Yes. Keep going. We done recruiting here? No, we're not. Two, three, four, five, six. We can build another entire nice clean regiment here. Canned food, canned food. Oh god, are we running out? Are we because of this war with Russia and Burgundy? I think we might have a problem with the supply of canned food. The prices are just going up. Yep. We still have some. I'm gonna up my stockpile. Oh, the economy balance in, in the DoD mod. Uh, not too crazy, actually. I was surprised. I think one of the early iterations of the mod used PDM as its base, which... <laughs> oh, well, if you played PDM, you know that the economy in PDM is just... Balls to the wall insane. Making money is extremely easy and the economy breaks are gone. Economy breaks and it's super easy. Yeah, it's very wonky. But this, I think after they switched to... I'm thinking that they took a note from the way HPM or HFM, I don't know which one specifically, but balances out the economy. And it works out fairly well. I haven't had any... Uh, I played it. I played like this is the third campaign that I've played on uh, BOD, and uh, it seems fairly. It seems to behave as you would expect if you were to play, say, HPM or HFM. Okay, but no, I don't want to ally myself with the Italians. Come on. Okay, we're not totally stuck. And I guess economy-wise, because the United Republic, the big power here, I guess the Britain equivalent, isn't, like, ridiculously overpowered, and they don't own all of India, they don't control the market as much as Britain does in a, a regular modded Vicky 2. I cannot speak for unmodded because I haven't played unmodded in oh god years. That's a uh, spicy rebellion. We're all mad about minimum wage. Ah, stop with the pop ups. Okay, give me all your shit. Let's negotiate with the war leader. Oh. Let them eat cake, yes. Orange Sultanate, yes. Give me the land. Thank you. And you... You're going to return to Europe. I have enough of an African presence here. African regiments, so that I can just use them instead. Except for these guys. I might keep these guys around for now. So that I can go to war with uh, Uba. Can you stop? Don't go through there. Lost. How so? Ah, uh, yeah, it must be one of my fresh regiments. That makes sense. I'm recruiting some guys, so... You still at war? Yes. <laughs> Good shit, Russia. 
Very good. You're getting blockaded in uh, the White Sea. Everyone here is just starving to death. You have no navy. <laughs> this is just... This is a travesty. And you're just sitting here. My god, you're like your entire country is living in... In Nordhorn. All of Russia has just moved into my country. All their soldiers, anyways. This is not a healthy relationship, Russia. You have to move out. Sorry. Cutting you off. Tyrol? Oh, come on, Switzerland. Get the hell out of here. No attrition? No, surprisingly, no. I don't see it, at least. Zero percent. Not for my troops. There's a supply limit of 103. There's way more troops here than 103. Oh, maybe this is glitched? See, it says it should take attrition if I return to that. But if I stay here, I don't take attrition. Hmm. What if I move? They're still not taking attrition. What if I go back? Uh, not taking attrition. Okay, that is very bizarre. Let me do something. Usually, usually if you quit and reload, some of these things correct themselves. Some of them, including dip like weird diplomatic crap. So let's let's do that and see what happens.